your favorite animal? I don't know. Whew. Don't spray the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Timmy is our source of entertainment. When you're three years old. Whoa. He loves to water. Hey, no spraying me. What could be better than a hose full of water? I'm spraying this. Oh, you're spraying the you're spraying the plants. Yeah. I'm hey, spraying. I'm not a plant. Yeah, you are. And a few acres of dirt. Are you being silly? <laughs> For Timmy, his mom Megan, and older brother Teddy, they found this oasis just a short walk away from their cottage grove home. We walk over pretty much every day to weed and water. I, I think it's pretty cool having like a big garden area like that we can just walk down to and go really whenever we want to and just hang out. Up until last year, the field this family is hanging out in was used by a farmer to grow corn and soybeans. That's when the Dodge Nature Center was gifted the property, built a fence, and created the town's first community garden. So it's a 15 by 15 space. There's water on site, it's a well. We have a well that's here. We provide compost, we provide tools. You can walk in, pay the fee, and everything that you would need is, is provided. My name is Steve Hennessy. My wife and I are partners in crime on this gardening adventure, and uh, we wanted to grow a bunch of vegetables. And where we live in a townhome in Woodbury doesn't ha really have a yard at all. So we have a few containers to grow things in, uh, but we wanted to grow more. Steve and his wife saw a post on the Dodge Nature Center Facebook page announcing the community garden. They decided to sign up and then started cultivating everything from peppers and tomatoes. I think with our tomatoes, we're especially gonna have to share because we've got a, a lot of them. We're gonna have to make some salsa or do something. To Brussels sprouts and kale. Maybe next year I wouldn't do quite so many kale plants, but <laughs> you can only eat so many kale chips. Like Steve, Megan and her family are taking advantage of the community space. We don't really have a good property for a garden in our house, um, but I grew up gardening and really enjoyed it with my dad and wanted to introduce the kids to it and hopefully have that same experience. Teddy and I planted the whole garden on Mother's Day together. It was a 90 degree day <laughs> and he spent the whole day with me without complaining. I like just having something to do on days when I have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, summer gets, you know, it's, it's long time to be out of school for three months and you can't constantly be providing activities for the kids. So get them out of the house and off the screens. Over in this row, we've got some broccoli and cauliflower spread out. And we've got um, some flowers scattered around to help with pollination. We've got some herbs on there, some basil and oregano and some mint. I like the potatoes because I'll be able to have a lot of mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'd really like to thank Dodge Nature Center for making this property available. It's a really great green space for the community and it's a really fun spot to come and I look forward to the future uh, improvements they're going to make. I know they're going to put in a parking lot and some bathrooms and have a lot more programming and I, I think they're going to work on some more of the trails. Uh, I know this is a 100 acre plus property so there's a, a lot of area here and we're only on a couple acres right now in this community garden. So it'll be really neat and exciting to see what they do and how they improve it and how much the community can enjoy and use this property in the future. Dodge Nation.